hello student welcome you all to this session today i am going to explain you the basics of mosfet so let us start let us start with the objectives of the lecture so what we are going to study in this session that i am going to summarize here i am going to explain you the mosfet definition of mosfet construction of mosfet its types and symbols the construction of the types of mosfet the iv characteristics of mosfet application of the mosfet so let us start with the first slide that contains the information about bjt and fet basically what is mean by bjt so see bjt is a bipolar junction transistor okay which is given over here this is a symbol of bjt which has a three terminals emitter base and collector so accordingly the arrow headed terminal is emitter base middle one and the collector is the last one why we call it as bipolar junction transistor see in bjt the current flows due to the both charged particles that is electrons as well as holes hence it is known as bipolar as this transistor has two junctions it is known as bipolar junction transistor next the second component is what fet the long form is field effect transistor the symbol of fet also given here it also has three terminal source gate drain source means the source of charged particle from where the charged particles are emitted drain where the charged particles are collected and given outside gate is used to control the current through this channel that is from source to drain according to the name in fed input voltage is used to control the output current that's why it is known as field effect field is used to affects the output current hence, hence it is known as field effect transistor so what is been my mosfet that i am going to elaborate in this ppt so let us start with the basics of mosfet basically the long form of mosfet is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor this figure shows the construction of mosfet it consists of a substrate here we have the p type substrate that is the body of mosfet in which two channel two materials are doped n type materials are doped okay from this n type materials the metallic terminals taken out outside of this substrate or body and that terminals are labeled as source and drain so over to this substrate the oxide layer is given the sio2 layer is given on this channel this is the channel region from this side to this side this is the channel region over which on the outside side oxide layer is given on the oxide layer the metal layer is given and from which the one terminal is taken out and that is known as gate so this is what this is the construction of mosfet let us move towards the types and symbol of mosfet there are two types of mosfet n channel mosfet p channel mosfet so the doped channel is which type that provides you the type of channel that means suppose here n type of material is used to form the channel which is sandwiched between two p type of material hence it is known as n channel mosfet similarly here p type material is used hence it is known as p channel mosfet okay see in the symbol for n channel mosfet the arrow head is inward see the middle terminal for both the transistor the arrow head is in in what direction then it is a n channel similarly the arrow heads are in outward direction it is known as p channel mosfet so see here there are three terminals source drain gate source drain gate so see here this uh, source source is used 
टू इमिट द चार्ज पार्टिकल्स हेंस इट इज नोन एज सोर्स इज द सोर्स ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल ओके फ्रॉम दिस टर्मिनल सोर्स इमिट्स द चार्ज पार्टिकल इट मे बी होल्स और इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे आर इमिटेड फ्रॉम दिस टर्मिनल हेंस इट इज नोन एज सोर्स ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल वेर एज द ड्रेन ड्रेन टर्मिनल्स कलेक्ट द चार्ज पार्टिकल्स विच आर इमिटेड बाय द सोर्स एंड दैट कलेक्टेड चार्ज पार्टिकल कैन बी ड्रेन आउट फ्रॉम दिस टर्मिनल हेंस इट इज नोन एज द टर्मिनल ड्रेन एंड गेट इज यूज टू कंट्रोल द करंट थ्रू दी चैनल ओके सो हेंस इट इज नोन एज गेट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस देर आर टू टाइप्स डिप्लेशन लेयर मॉसफेट एंड एनहांसमेंट मोड मॉसफेट विच आर द सिम्बॉल्स फॉर द सेम इज गिवन ओवर हि Let's move towards the next topic, and that is what working principle of enhancement mode MOSFET. So, for this purpose, let us consider the figure shown here. See, in p-type substrate, n-type materials are diffused. So, this material contains electrons. over this material the sio2 layer is given from this n type materials the contacts are taken out by drilling on both side the first contact is known as source this is known as drain see here the supply voltage or battery is connected between gate and source that is known as vgs voltage between gate and source positive terminal of battery is connected to the gate negative terminal is connected to the source okay so hence as positive terminal of the battery is connected to the gate positive charge particles are developed on one side of the gate and these positive charge particles repels the holes below the sio2 layer in the channel in downward direction hence the positive charge particles moves in downward direction which are shown over here due to force of attraction the electrons from both the sides of in diffuse n type materials will get moved below the gate across the channel hence electrons are gathered over here ya channel cha khali electrons ya thikane ka hota gathered hota hai okay see as we increase the gate voltage what happen number of electrons will increases they can number of electrons can be increased below the gate that means number of electrons increases which increases the drain current that means as gate volt increase increases that means positive charge increases number of electron increases as a result the current increases increases means enhances again i am going to repeat as the positive charge enhances the electron movement from both the entire diffuse material enhances what is the motion of electron that is what current current also enhances hence it is known as enhancement mode mosfet okay so in this way we have to move towards the working principle of depletion mode mosfet this is the figure of depletion mode mosfet again in p type substrate two materials are diffused that is n type materials these are the contacts taken outside for the source and drain as i explained you previously the voltage between the source and gate that is vgs is applied between source and gate now gate terminal is kept negative by connecting negative terminal of the battery and hence the negative electron charge particles are developed across the gate these negative charge particles repels the electron in this channel which is already diffuse hence this repels it okay hence the the channel will get depleted as number of electron increases the number of इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल गेट रिपेल फ्रॉम दिस चैनल मनु चैनल की वीड क्या हो जाते कमी कमी हो जाते डिप्लेट हो जाते मन ये मना डिप्लेशन मोड मॉस्फेट एज द चैनल विड ये डिप्लेट इट इज नोन एज डिप्लेशन मोड मॉस्फेट लेट इज मूव टुवर्ड्स दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉस्फेट द गिवन फिगर शोज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मॉस्फेट 
which is drawn between the VDS that is voltage between drain and source and IDS current flows through the drain ID okay see these characteristics are drawn for the constant voltage that is of VGS initially baga VGS plus 6 volt la thevla VGS V6 volt la thevla constant kela tacha nantar ka kela VDS move kela anja voltage uh, drain ani source madla move kela eka direction ne baga jasa x axis var plot kela tasa tyavali tumhala drain current flow uh, drain madun current flow il ani to current jo flow hoto hai ani VDS acha graph plot kela ha milala graph constant voltage plus 6 volt la this is why we have to do this. VGS constant is plus 5 volt, plus 4 volt, and 0 volt. And we have to do VGS constant. VDS is one of the ID node down. So, we have to graph the curves. Okay, we have to do the characteristics of MOSFET. characteristics of MOSFET. The characteristics of division. We have to do the dotted lines. We have to do the ohmic region. What is Ohm's law? V is directly proportional to I. You just observe this region. In this region, as we increase the VDS, there is an immediate increase in drain current. The sub VDS partway, the sub drain current partway. And the Hadikani ohms law obey hoto. V directly proportional to I. V one lucky I partway. Munun ya region laman is a ohomic region. Okay. Ohomic region and the Zatumi has a curve spilea. They are constant. It means as VDS increases, ID remains constant. Pratek very ID kai hathway. Constant रहता है प्रत्येक VDS जरिये increase होता है तो ID का रहता है constant रहता है मुन्ना यहाँ region लाम है सर saturation region okay so this is the characteristics of MOSFET okay now what is the application of MOSFET MOSFET can be used as an amplifier MOSFET are used in the application of power electronics and SMPS जो SMPS use करते हैं अपन CPU से बत तो अच्छा मतलब MOSFET वहाँ पर ले ला सको also, MOSFET can be used as an oscillator in a radio system. It can be used for the sound system in automobile. So, these are the references which I have taken to prepare this lecture. So, thank you very much. Let us stop now.